Hello and welcome to a Tabletop Bellhop Cardboard Coat Check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your cardboard concierge, answering your gaming and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. Tonight, the question I'm going to be answering is what's in the box in regards to this package I got from Capstone Games. Now, I won a copy of this as part of Cap Camp Capstone's online game convention earlier this year, which I took part in. It was part of the uh, Brawler Brawl board game in Bourbon. I don't even know. It was like a big podcaster get together on Zoom. It was pretty neat. I was just in the chat room. They were doing some trivia questions. I managed to get one right. And I got a copy of this. So thanks, Capstone, for uh, hosting that giveaway. And I'm looking forward to this because I've heard really good things about Watergate. This is supposed to be one of the best two-player games out there on the market. And anyone who follows our content should know my wife and I are huge fans of small footprint two-player games, which just looks like, based on the size of the box, to be a pretty small footprint game. So really looking forward to checking this out. Now, before I get to opening up the box, I just want to point you towards tabletopbellhop.com. That is our homepage where you can find all kinds of gaming content, including unboxing videos like this, actual plays, game reviews, and answers to your gaming and game night questions. If you've got a gaming-related question, you can send it to questions at tabletopbellhop.com. And then, once we get your questions, we may answer it live on the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast, which we record on Twitch Wednesday nights at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. That's at twitch.tv slash tabletopbellhop. And then we release that as an audio podcast, which you can find as the Tabletop Bellhop Gaming Podcast. I do want to send out a thanks to our Patreon patrons who make this show possible and some of our cool upgrades, like we now have a nice zoom-in camera and stuff like that, in part thanks to our Patreon. So thank you, patrons. Uh, if you're car um, interested in becoming a patron, just head to patreon.com slash tabletopbellhop. Enough about that. I'm going to cut the shrink off this right now before we get blinded by the light from the reflections off the cameras here. And then we will tip the camera down, and I'll show you what's in the box. Before I get to that, I would like to point out, I love seeing that. A nice little Rodney Smith Watch It Played logo right on the back of the box. Watergate from Matthias Kramer, Capstone Games. Nice linen finished box. What I like here is there's a shadow of the word Watergate there. A little quick shot of the back of the box here. We're going to crack this open. Capstone Game makes some nice heavy games. I like myself some meaty games sometimes. A meaty two-player game sounds good to me. We have the rules right on top. It is a card-driven two-player game about the most notorious of all political scandals. I have a feeling that's no longer going to be true <laughs> fairly soon. Wow, I gotta say, look at that. That I said meaty games, right? Look at the look at the look at how thick this is. That is not a thin roll book. We have a nice thick book here. Um, so we have setup instructions, lots of examples here. Uh, nice, uh, they've got the, they went for the typewriter font, which I guess fits the time period. Color-coded sections, that's a big bonus. Always a fan of that. Yeah, look at that, color-coded different sections of the rules are colored different ways. Um, it's showing how to read the different cards. That's a lot of text, though. There is a lot going on in this game, you can tell. I've heard really good things. This is slightly intimidating looking for a two-player game. Usually you don't find two-player games. It looks like now we're at the point where it's just, uh, explaining the different rules. Or explaining the different cards, the journalists. Okay, so this is history. We're looking at some history stuff here, I think, is why this is so thick, is it's, it's, it's giving you some background information on the time period in the Watergate scandal. That makes a little more sense, because I'm like, holy cow, this is this is a ridiculous rule book. But no, we're, we're looking at historic, which is interesting, because um, not being American, I know very little about the actual Watergate scandal, so it'll be interesting to read through. So let's see if I can figure out how many actual rules. Action part... Evaluation phase, there we go. So we are only looking at 10 pages, so that's not bad. Like, more than half of the rule book is background information. The actual rules of the game are only the first 10 pages. Next, we have a bunch of uh, redacted, covered up. We have a, a board full of things that have been covered over by Black Marker, which on the other side have different bits. Um, I apologize, the blue's not gonna show up through the camera. So we do have some greens and blues. We have the same thing here. So that's it, just two punch boards. Again, mostly blacks. We have some greens and blues. Then we get to the board, 
which is, as I was hoping, a fairly small footprint. This is going to be perfect for playing. My wife and I like to play at uh, coffee shops or pubs. It's a nice, clear-looking board, though I gotta say that makes it look like more of an abstract game. And then we have a cloth bag. Pretty basic cloth bag. And then some red and white, very thick wooden cylinders. Nice, solid, well painted, nothing stuffed together. There's only one white and quite a few red. And we get into a pack of really uniquely sized cards. So here's something I can see other people complaining about. I am not a card sleever, but that is not a standard size card in any way, shape, or form. That's not also not even a um, tarot size card. So the backs are all identical, it looks like. Oh, no, we have two different types of cards here. All right, let's see if I can separate these. All right, so we have, we'll move this out of the way, that stack. And then these all say confidential. Oh, and then two Watergate cards. So these rule summary? No. One's a rule summary. I don't know what this one is. This says initiative. Initiative draw four cards. We do have a rule summary card. This says at the each, end of each round what you have to do. So a reminder of what to do at the end of each round. And Watergate on the back. I'm not sure why this one also says Watergate at the back. My guess is it's like the first card or the, the last card. Oh, it says at the start of each round. So this is, again, it's going to, um, this is part of the rule summary. So then we have all these confidential cards. We have, we'll just throw a few of these down. I like the art. It's got that newspaper look to it, like newspaper clippings. I do apologize. Whenever there's a blue symbol there, we're going to, it's going to go through as see-through. So I'm going to skip a few here. You don't need to see every card. So that's that deck. Not a small deck. Not thick either. And then we have the other side. The political. So these these have to be the two different players' decks. These are all events. Sorry, no, these are all events. No, we're all those events. Yes, those are all events too. So these are, like I said, probably the other players. The press versus Nixon's cabinet and we're just going to throw some random ones down so you can see them there I'm trying to avoid any with blue on them so there you go and that's it that is all that is in this box i do want to highlight the um somewhat sad box insert sometimes i wonder at this point why they bother nothing underneath just a thin cardboard box insert i guess it adds to the theming it's a got a corkboard look to it uh, in this case, okay, it will hold the board above the pieces, so fair enough. Once I put everything in here, you know what, actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these cards back into this resealable baggie that came in. Once I figure out how it came in here. Oh, it's split down the side, so no, that's not going to work. <laughs> I really don't think this is meant to be reused, but obviously I won't be doing that. So yeah, those are going to end up in baggies at some point. So yeah, I get it. Okay, this holds the board above everything else. Fair enough. We're not going to bother punching these right now. Throw the rule book on top, and that's it. Not a lot to look at, but from what I have heard, one of the best two-player games on the market right now, Watergate. <laughs> what you get in Watergate from Capstone Games, a two-player game about, obviously, um, the Nixon scandal, the Watergate scandal, huge, important thing that happened in U.S. politics, something I admit I don't know a lot about, but I've heard really good things about this game. Again, I won a copy of this, which is really cool, because um, not knowing the background, it wasn't something I was seeking out, but I have heard a lot of people raving about this game. So I am looking forward to checking out Watergate, two-player game, something my wife and I will probably enjoy because we dig heavier two-player games. Uh, card-driven two-player political battle. Looking forward to it. Uh, when I do do that, again, I'll be covering it at tabletopbellhop.com 
I don't think I need any more promotion today. Just make sure you do that thing that all of us content creators love, which is you'd like, subscribe, ding the bell, hit the thumbs up, retweet, share, spread the love. I would appreciate it. For Tabletop Bellhop, I am Mo2Zano, the Tabletop Bellhop. Good night and game on.